Welcome to ClickView Tips and Tricks. My name is Josh Good. I'm a solutions architect here at ClickTech. Often when we're bringing data into ClickView, uh, we'll want to rename the fields or alias the fields so they're more business friendly. So for example, if uh, I go into the script and I'm going to load a table file here, uh, I'm presented with the names. And I can see here that these various names uh, maybe aren't the most business friendly names, so I might want to rename them. If I'm loading it from a table file, I can just do it directly here. Or if uh, I want to do it in my script, I, I can also type it in at the script level. So that works well with a small number of fields you need to alias. When you have a lot of fields you need to alias, you may want to drive it from some other data set. In a lot of systems, uh, there are uh, definition tables that actually define what the business friendly names are for each of these fields. So we can just delete this here, and we'll look at how to do that today. So if I go back to my, my Excel data source, you'll notice here I have a separate uh, sheet, which is a separate table, and that has old names and new names. So that's going to be how I'm going to rename things. This is what's currently in my data set, and then in there, this is, these are my business-friendly names that I want to use. So to do this, I, I'll need to load that table into, into ClickView. So I'm just going to go back into that file, and I'll go to the other sheet, and, and I'll bring that in. And of course, I could also be doing this you know, from an ODBC data source or any sort of data source from ClickView. And in fact, I could be pulling these two separate uh, tables from two different data sources if need be. So I'm going to identify these tables. I'll give them names. So we'll just call this uh, invoices. This is some invoice information. And then this table here, we're going to call it field definitions. So I'll just go field def. Now, I also want to identify this table as a special kind of table that I'm loading in called a mapping table. So I'm going to type in mapping, and that identifies this as a mapping table. So as a mapping table, it won't be brought uh, into the data model, but it will be brought into memory during the, the load and be used to, to map the data to other, to, to other um, parts of my data model. So now I have my script set up to load my data uh, from lines 12 to lines 28, and I also have my field definitions from lines 30 to lines 36. So I just need to bring those together. And actually, uh, when I was looking at this, it's, it's surprisingly easy in ClickView. You simply use the uh, rename uh, function. And then we want to rename fields. So we put the field function. And we want to use, so we type in the using, and we just put in the name of the field definition uh, mapping table. Uh, now that that's all done, we'll just save this. And now I can reload the document. And you can see here that all of my fields have been aliased according to, to my mapping table. I loaded my data in. I then loaded another table in that was my mapping table that identified the definitions or the business-friendly names for each of um, my fields that I was loading in from my first table. And, th and then I used the statement rename fields using field def, and where field def is the uh, name of my mapping table. That concludes ClickView tips and tricks for today. Please consult Click Community for additional information. And please remember we have expert services and partners who can assist you with your specific ClickView deployment. Thank you.